Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Meditating Human. I am Tiffany. Today I wanted to talk about empaths versus introverts. And, and there is a difference. A lot of people think that when you are empathic that you are automatically an introvert when that's not the case. You can absolutely be empathic and be an extrovert. It just manifests in a different way. I am empathic. I am also introverted. And so empathic and all that means when you are an empath and there are many different types of empaths, but when you are an empath, it just means that you are a highly sensitive person. Uh, you are able to sense really subtle energies, um, emotions, uh, different a person's uh, different physical issues or symptoms sometimes. And but the thing about being empathic now is that we also tend to absorb other people's energy. And from what I understand, it means that we have weak auras. Now, when my parapsychologist told me that I had a weak aura, which is why I am so sensitive to other people's energies, it kind of took me back because I, I mean that I never thought about that. That was never a thing in my mind. So when she said that, I was kind of almost disgruntled about it because I'm like, well, damn, that's why when I'm around people, when I'm around a lot of people, it's just, it's too much. I go into overwhelm. Uh, and if I'm around it too long, then I will absolutely have a panic attack. So, which is why I, I meditate so much. It, it keeps me on an even keel. Um, it also helps me to process a lot of that energy that I'm taking in from other people. The other piece of that is too, as I did more research around being empathic, I realized that the absorption of other people's energies was also a thing, did not know that. And when I read that, it made sense because when I, I can be completely fine when I walk into, you know, a venue somewhere um, and be completely fine. I start walking around and all of a sudden I'm just having all of these mood swings and I'm happy and I'm sad and I'm angry and I'm, you know, discontented and I'm just, it's just, I'm just an emotional mess. And I'm, you know, walking around thinking like, well, what happened? I was fine two seconds ago and, you know, no one did anything to me. Why all of a sudden am I so, you know, I'm, I'm so upset. I'm so annoyed, not realizing that I was absorbing other people's energies. And the other thing about that is too, is that you can't, and maybe some people can, let me speak to myself. I, and I still have a lot of trouble with this. I'm only now really starting to distinguish between my emotions and other people's emotions. But a lot of the time it used to be where I just absolutely could not distinguish between the two. I thought, I was like, oh, maybe I'm releasing old energies uh, because I have been meditating a lot. I know there are like, you know, some shifts, some energetic shifts happening. That's what's probably affecting me, not understanding that I was absorbing other people's energy and I was taking it as my own. For now, a clue for me is, is that if I walk into a, a venue and I am perfectly fine when I walk there, like, you know, I'm fine getting there, I'm fine when I walk in, but as I start to spend a little bit of time there, I'm starting to notice that my emotions are getting kind of cranky like they're shifting they're changing and the thing about it is it's used for me it's usually for the neck for, for the negative it's uh and and it could be for the positive too it's just maybe i am just more <laughs> you know i am just wanting to, i'm going to embrace that more than embracing the negative um so that's you know that could be what it is too so I'm, i am 
I am paying attention more to, to the negative, trying to understand, okay, why am I feeling this way? And so what I've done, what I started to do as of late is that if I realize that that's happening, I stop and I think to myself like, well, you were fine coming in here. You were fine getting here. You were fine when, you know, you left your house. So why, and nothing has happened to say like, okay, I get why I'm feeling this way. If nothing has happened to provoke a particular emotional response, then I know that it's because I'm around all of these people and I'm picking up, you know, everyone's energy. Unfortunately, a lot of people's energies are negative. So I'm picking all of that stuff up. And so that's how I start to dis- that's how I started distinguishing between my emotions and other people's emotions. And so when I realized that, then I'm like, oh, okay, so uh, this is not my thing. This is not my emotion to take on and, and try to resolve and, and figure out what's going on. So then like I leave it where it's at. Like it's still, it's still humming in the background. I still feel it. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's annoying when I'm feeling on this negative energy, but then I just kind of, I, I leave it. I leave it alone. I don't take it on. I, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to work through it because it's not my energy to work through. And I've also mentioned in the past that, you know, I wear my crystals and different types of other pieces, spiritual jewelry to protect my energy to and and, you know, that now that I've brought that up, that has been huge in protecting myself and protecting my energy and protecting my mental well-being because I'm not I'm not you know trying to process someone else's energy so you know imagine how fun that is trying to process energy just not that's not yours because you you really unless you know unless someone else knows different and you let me know in the comment section you can't process other people's energy so then it's that frustration because I can't identify where it's coming from which means it's highly difficult for me to process and yeah but it will you know it's not mine so which is why I can't figure out where it's coming from and you know internally you know I can't figure out where it's coming from from me you know joys of being empathic but I'm gonna tell you that I would not change that for the world especially now that I just figured out how to distinguish between my energy and other people's energies Uh, I would not change it for the world because it's what allows me to navigate the world before I realized that I was empathic it was just a nightmare scenario for me. And I I absolutely, I mean, I'm not too keen about being around people now, but I can tolerate it. Um, But before I just, there was just uh, being around people was just not a good experience for me. Had all these emotions and didn't know what to do with them. Again, not understanding that they weren't mine. And so in my frustration of not understanding why I was so emotional in my frustration, then I became more emotional because now I'm frustrated. I'm angry. I'm confused. I don't know what's happening. And now I'm pumping out all of this negative energy. And then I remember there was a point where I just like, I don't know what happened. Like I just it was like a switch that kind of switched off and I just didn't feel anything anymore. And I, it, it, at the time, it was just the best thing ever because I felt as though I could function. Like I felt as though that I can move through the world and not be mentally dramatic. And so I'm going to say mentally dramatic because at least as I got older, it wasn't going out arguing with people and just, just, just being too much out in the world. I just emotionally too much out into the world and getting my emotional mess all over people. I wasn't, I wasn't doing that. I wasn't doing that. And as I got old, I'm like, I just am not that type of a person. When I was younger, different conversation. Um, but it felt this, I'm like, oh my, it was a relief. Cause I'm like, oh my gosh, I can function. I can finish a thought. Like I'm not bombarded by all of my emotions, I'm giving ear quotes, all of my emotions, not understanding again that they were not mine. Now that I realize that it's such a gift and I'm 
open now to all of these emotions and all of this energy, especially now that I can distinguish between mine and other people's. There are times when it's almost like, I don't know, like it's just a mental reset. Like my, it's like my, like, you know, like you're rebooting a computer. It's like my brain shuts down or I don't know if it's my brain, but my emotions, I should say, maybe it shuts down and I feel this disconnection from the universe, from source, from my guides. I just feel this disconnection, which is very jarring for me because it's that obvious connection for me at least that helps me to navigate the world and so then I feel a little bit confused a little bit discombobulated difficulty making decisions because I'm I can't pick up for whatever reason my you know my, my emotions are rebooting like I can't pick up other people's energies so like I don't know what they're thinking I don't know what they're feeling and I'm just like oh my god and I feel stuck on stupid. And I don't realize how much I depend on it until my system reboots and I don't feel it. And that sometimes it happens, it happens for usually on average, it happens for a few days, it happens every so often. I just go into like this emotional reboot and or energetic reboot, maybe that's better to say. And I just, I, I, I try my best not to make any, a whole lot of decisions. And I try as much as I can to kind of cocoon myself. Cause I'm just like, I don't feel, cause I'm not myself. I don't feel useful. Like I don't feel like I can properly navigate the world. So now I see it as a gift and being empathic for me and not empathic, excuse me, being an introvert. So moving on to introversion, which is I tend to recharge my battery rather I get I tend to recharge my battery by being by myself going out I love going out for walks in nature that is such a cliche but I love doing it I feel like I'm more connected and so being introverted I much prefer to be by myself or and or have if I do have more it's usually one or two people that I may have around me and it's people that I know that I can say whatever I say and it is what it is and I'm accepted for exactly who I am. And if I don't speak to you for six months, it's not a big deal. You totally get it. And I think introversion makes me even more sensitive, right? Because it still makes you, it, introversion by itself makes you sensitive to other people's energies because it's, again, it, you, you're absorbing it and you're bringing it all in. It's too much. When I'm around too many people, it's too much. It's way too much. And I just hit this wall. I'm like, I can't be around this many people for this long period of time. And for the record, like I lived in New York, I lived in the middle of Manhattan. You know, I lived on the Upper West Side and you're like, well, if being around people is too much, how the hell did you live in Manhattan? The thing about living in New York is that everyone ignores everyone else so everyone is walking around in their own personal bubble um and so because no one is really interacting with me and everyone's really is keeping their energy to themselves for the most part it wasn't it wasn't overwhelming new york or new york has this great energy or when it was you know fully functional it had this great energy i totally thrived off that energy uh it's when i am interacting with people too much i don't know for some reason in certain spaces i don't know what it is i don't know if people just kind of giving out their energy like it's in certain spaces like malls for instance the energy is just it's too, sometimes if I'm there too long, it's just too much. Being in a, in a department store is just too much. Um, after a while, I've, I'm like, I've got to go. Like, I've got to get outside. Like, the walls start closing in on me. And so being introverted and being an empath, for me, it's just a, it's a double whammy. Um, you can be empathic and not be an introvert. You can be empathic not be, and, and, you know, and be an extrovert. You can be an introvert or an extrovert and not be empathic. So... Just because you're one doesn't mean, you know, you are you are the other. Uh, but you should definitely, you know, figure out if your feeling is though like you're absorbing a lot of people's energy and you're you're trying to figure out 
you know, why is my, why am I feeling this way all of a sudden? What's going on? You know, you really may want to look into whether or not you're empathic, you're able to, you like, you know how people are feeling without them actually having to tell you. Sometimes you may be an, like an animal empath, you know, you, you know what your pets are feeling, you know what other animals are feeling, and clearly they can't tell you verbally, but you start picking up these different signs that like, hey, how do I know that information? And no one's told me anything. Like, how do I kind of know, I kind of get it. I, I think I know what that person's thinking, but they haven't told you anything. So definitely look into it because then that just helps you to navigate the world a little bit better. And then you also know how to protect yourself and protect your energy from one absorbing other people's energies. But then we also go into the conversation of psychic vampires, right? But yeah, definitely check that out and, and let me know in the comments, you know, whether you think that you are empathic or not. And if you're an introvert and an extra or an extrovert until next time, <laughs> bye.